I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we're returning to our Microsoft Access playlist, and I'm going to do a general interest piece about the benefits of using Microsoft Access and some of the reasons why we use Microsoft Access. And in particular, I'm going to cover the two main areas, uh, including application development and also data engineering. Interested in coaching or one-on-one -on -one help on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Okay, so just to give a little bit of background, I've been doing data projects for over 20 years. And uh, in that time, I have used uh, all kinds of database systems. Access is not the only database system I use by any stretch. In fact, I use other systems more than I use Microsoft Access. So I have, you know, implemented solutions on Oracle and SQL Server, uh, Postgres and, and uh, MySQL. I've also done SQLite projects and uh, SQL CE embedded database projects. And that experience has been uh, spread over a wide range of industries, including um, aerospace, um, health, uh, finance and insurance. I've done logistics systems, I've done retail systems, I've built point of sale systems, and uh, and so uh, what this has given me is sort of like a very a very wide range of experience with many kinds of teams and technologies. So what I've found in the field is that Access has two primary use cases, I guess you'd call it. Uh, the first is for data access, wrangling, you know, cleaning and transfer. And the second is for application development. Now the first uh, of those is the part that many people do not know about. And this, the second part is the part that, you know, most people have heard about and want to sort of get involved in. And in fact, I think uh, many of my viewers are in that camp and they're, they're building their applications and you know, trying to uh, to get better techniques and things like that. Um, so Microsoft Access, you know, a lot of the reasons that that we use it um, include kind of, you know, like versatility is is a big one. Um, the number of things that you can do in one product in Access is very very high. It has a programming language built in. Um, it has a database engine built in. And that's not trivial. Um, I'll come back to that. Um, it, you know, it has easy data data access built in uh, that you can, you know, connect to production systems using ODBC or, or you know, um, using OLEDB and things like that. Um, so you can you can connect to a wide range of systems and bring all that data together into you know analytics and reporting and things like that you know um, it has concurrent user capability built in um, it supports transactions through DAO uh, you can check out one of my recent videos I uh, demonstrated how to do transactions and it has uh, you know a reporting engine uh, built in uh, for nice paginated printable reports and charts and it's portable um, you know um, being able to work on a team and give somebody just give somebody the file and it still retains all of you know the data types and, and modeling and everything uh, is very 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 handy um, you know it works seamlessly as a front end for server databases like SQL Server or Oracle or Postgres um, and you can give someone a file um, you know where they can collect data while they're disconnected from any network. So if you've got people going out into the field and you want to make sure that the data that they collect is, you know, goes through proper validation and things like that, you can just drop uh, an access application on on their, you know, their tablet or their their laptop and it's going to it's going to work for them out in the field and and you can collect that data when they get back. Um, it has a clear and easy scaling process uh, to SQL Server, and uh, it's easy to learn. And so typically what I find is that for tasks that have a certain amount of functionality required, um, it's often faster to do it in Access 
because you would need to use several products, other products or, or tools in order to accomplish the same thing um, elsewhere. So, you know, you might be able to script some data ETL uh, in, in Python, but you don't have the forms, or you'd have another tool that has forms, but you don't have paginated reports, or, you know, those kind of situations. And so where access really shines is when you have to do, you know, quick and dirty um, work, or you need a very quick application to collect data, you know, to have users collect data or, or something like that. Access is really awesome for that and can be deployed very quickly uh, because it doesn't require uh, anything, you know, more than a file share uh, in order to have, you know, like two or three users plunk in a whole bunch of data and you're going to be done way faster building a little app, you know, a temporary app for people to use than, than if you have to go and, you know, uh, do it in .NET with SQL Server or, or do it in Python or, or, you know, Java or something like that. And indeed, for prototyping, access is is hard to beat um, because you can you can build these apps so quickly uh, with the full you know full database model underneath with you know with forms and, and validation and printable reports and and charts and things like you've got it all right there and you can prototype very quickly um, for something that you know might become a big production system later on. And what I find in real business situations is that that little application that you built for two to three people is actually just fine and you never need to do anything further um, other than making sure that you know it gets backed up and, and, and those kinds of things. Now I work with many tools every day. I work with Python, uh, .NET, SQL Server, you know, Oracle, uh, more recently Java and many others um, and I do find that for some things it's just faster to do things in access um, you know data data engineering is certainly all about trade-offs and uh, I can't even say the number of times that I've I saw engineers and analysts you know waste wasting huge amounts of time on jobs that could have been done in minutes in access and that kind of brings me back to um, the, you know, the database engine being built in. Um, you know, relational database systems, you know, like Oracle and SQL Server and, and all the other ones, they, they have a lot of optimization and math that's built in in order to, to, to be able to calculate and, and do queries and things like that. And, and access is no different in that regard. Um, so, when you do uh, certain things like merges, you know, you'll, you'll have, you know, people doing merges in Power BI or, or in Tableau and things like that. And they find, oh, it's taking forever, you know, uh, to do this merge. You know, I just need that data to be merged when it comes in or, or whatever. And, uh, and you can do that same operation and it'll be much quicker if you put it into a uh, uh, you know, a relational database uh, system and do a query on it, it's going to be way faster. And so um, that's where the, you know, access shines because you can do it without having a server database. Um, you can just do it on your desktop uh, with the access uh, database engine. And so this brings me back to, you know, why we, we use it. And so what I've seen sort of in practice, you know, out in all these uh, places that I've done projects is uh, people who are really good with data, like the really good guys, um, they, they know and use access. In some cases, even if they don't like access, they still use it um, just because it's faster. And it's just a logical thing. You, you, want, you want things to be done quickly. You want to get stuff done. And, uh, you know, smart people don't want to waste time. And on the application side, you know, I worked on access databases that were just for one or two people, you know, and I worked on database applications with thousands of objects, you know, hundreds of thousands of lines of code encapsulating mission critical business rules, you know, supporting hundreds of users uh, with, you know, an SQL server backend, you know, with a access front end. 
And so, you know, there's, there's misinformation everywhere. You know, I had a, a guy, I remember one time, uh, he was, you know, he was talking about it and he said, you know, uh, Microsoft Access is a child's toy, you know, like tiddlywinks, but then was super surprised when he saw just how much uh, complexity and uh, scale uh, w was being deployed in Access. Now, keep in mind, Access is only one tool in your toolbox, and you generally have other tools too. And there are certainly many cases where Access is not the right tool for the job. But for what it does, Access does a great job. And uh, for, you know, a file-based database, um, I do not think that it can be beat. And I do think that it will be around for a long time to come. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on why we use Microsoft Access in data engineering. If you like what you saw today, please uh, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Uh, click the bell when you see the bell and put any questions or comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.